Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to create a dependent or cascading drop-down list with three combo box controls in Excel using VBA user form. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. Notice the state and city is empty because I have not selected any country name. If I select India, I have only two country names. So it's displaying only two country names. If I select India, here I will get the India state names. If I select Maharashtra, the capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. See, India, Maharashtra, Mumbai. If I select Telangana, is Hyderabad. If I select Karnataka, is Bangalore. Bangalore. Now, if I select USA, notice the state and city is, is disappear. Refresh. Now here we got the USA state names. If I select Virginia, is Richmond. If I select New York, it's Albany. If I select Kentucky, Kentucky is Frankfurt. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one book one excel sheet. Now in order to create a user form, first one, we need to have this developer option. By default, the developer option is not available on our menu bar. If it's not available, go to file, click options, under options there is a customized ribbon. In the customer's ribbon under main tabs there is a developer option if it's unchecked means uh, the developer option is not available so let's activate again options customer's ribbon click developer click ok and here we got the developer option now to select the developer option we got the developer ribbon here now notice the core one under core there is a visual basic select that one now we'll create the user form in these visual basic applications. Click insert, click user form. And here user form designing area we've got here. Let's put this toolbox aside and expand this user form. So I can add the controls easily. Now I'll add three controls, three label controls and three combo box controls. First add labels. Under controls there is a label here. The first label name is a country. Country. Let's put this auto size. Bold 16. Click OK. Click OK. And TR. Country. Enter. Now search this country, control C, control V. Rename this one as a state. The third one is a city. Now here we got three labels. Now I record three combo boxes which are the drop down list. Again, go to toolbox and controls. There is a fourth option called combo box. Add that one. Here we got the first combo box one. So see here the combo box one in the properties. Copy this one and paste here. We got the combo box two for the state. Combo box two. Control V. Combo box three. Now, up to now, we have just finished the designing part. We have three label controls and three combo box controls. Now my first aim is I want to populate some country names in this country drop down list. For that select anywhere on the uh, user form, go to view code and notice here by default we got the user form click event but we require the user form initialize event. Here we got the user form initialized. Now delete this default one, we don't require anymore. more. 
Now insert this initialize event and add in combo box one dot list list property is equals to I'm adding array. Here I'm adding some country names India and USA. Just for the time saving, I have added only two country names. If you want, you can add more country names also. Now let's check the output. These two country names are populated in this combo box one or not. For that, we need to run this application. You notice the green flavor in here. Click that one, or you can press F5 key also. Now here the user form application is running. The first one is country. See here we've got India and USA. Now if you check the state is empty and city also empty. Now my aim is the next aim is if the user select any country name. For example, USA. I want to get the uh, USA state names. If the user clicks the India, I want to get the India state names. So let's add that part here. Close the application. Now this time select the combo box, double click that one. Here we've got the combo box one change event. Now first I'm declaring one variable here, combo box select. Select. Whatever the combo box I'm selecting here, uh, select. Um, is equals to combo box one dot value that value i'm storing in this combo box select now after that i'm adding the select uh, statement select case combo box select combo box select make sure and select no spelling mistakes don't give any spelling mistakes now here the case now case india so if you use us click this india combo box one this cmb box select got india and that india i'm putting in this select case india here after that combo box two dot again i'm adding the list list is equals to array i'm adding again array because i want to add couple of statements here the india statements are telangana maharashtra and karnataka just for the demo purpose, I have added only three state names only. Again, copy this part, case India to the combo box list. Now, this time, USA, if the user selects the USA, I want to add uh, the state names New York, New York. Second step name is Virginia, Virginia. The third one is Kentucky. I, I have added three step names for this USA country. Now let's check this country, these state names are populated in this combo box two. When we select any value from the combo box one any country name from this combo box one let's run this application country right now the state is empty if i click usa here we've got the usa state names see if i click india here we've got india if i click usa see here you've got the usa but maharas is showing so let's clear this one close this application uh, double click the country combo box one here we need to add combo box two dot clear method clear clear property that's it now again switch over to the designing part now this time we select the state 
Here we got the combo box 2 dot chain, which is a state combo box. Now instead of writing the same code, I'm adding here. Now here combo box three and these ones combo box three combo box three wherever the combo box one i'm adding combo box two and wherever i have combo box two i have added combo box three and now there are some modifications we need to add here combo box select now this time telangana if the user selects the state telangana here's telangana I need to add combo box list uh, the city I don't need add it because it's only one capital of the state add item add item is Hyderabad Hyderabad just copy this one this year three four five and six we have six state names i have i require the six city names for telangana is hyderabad and for the maharashtra it's mumbai for karnataka it's bangalore for new york for new york Albany, Virginia, Virginia, I think it's Richmond, Kentucky, and the Kentucky is Frankfurt, Frankfurt, that's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the final output. Now run this application and here we got the final output. Notice the state and city is empty because I have not selected any country name. If I select India, I have only two country names. So it's displaying only two country names. If I select India, here I will get the India state names. If I select Maharashtra, the capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. See? India, Maharashtra, Mumbai. If I select Telangana, is Hyderabad. If I select Karnataka, is Bangalore. Bangalore. Now, if I select USA, notice the state and city is, is disappear. Refresh. Now here we got the USA state names. If I select Virginia, is Richmond. If I select New York, it's Albany. If I select Kentucky, Kentucky is Frankfurt. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to create a dependent cascading drop down list with three drop down lists country, state, and city names using Excel VBA user form controls. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.